Nazi, why are you being so quiet? Okay, I can't even hear you, buddy. But I can hear this. What are those? Alright guys, today we are in Riverside, Ohio at this Spirit Halloween back here with a very long, thin sign. And apparently this building used to be a Salvation Army. Which is funny because it does. It looks exactly like the Salvation Armies that I've been in and I've been in a lot of Salvation Armies. Let's come on over here and go inside before we get run over by a car. Wow, this place is huge. Guys, I hope the whole store takes up the whole inside of this building because it's absolutely enormous. You never know what you're gonna find at this time of year. We've only got about a week before Halloween and things are starting to fly out the door. However, this store still looks awesome. Look who they have set up right as you walk in the door. Guys, I've said it a million times. He is probably, he is my favorite inflatable this entire year. I am so glad they made him into an inflatable because as an animatronic, he was just not that cool. But as an inflatable, he's the best ever. Oh, and look over here, we have a spooky box. Look, it says experiment number four. If you guys remember experiment number four, it's the one where the arm shoots out. Very cool. All right, let's keep moving. We have a very small inflatable ghost over here. I don't really have an interest in buying the small inflatables. I ordered some online, but it's only ones not from Spirit Halloween. It's ones that you couldn't find anywhere else, and I couldn't resist. But I don't know. I'm the kind of guy who just likes to find things that are larger than life, like this ginormous skeleton over here that I was just talking about in the other store. This is the second store I've seen him blown up, and look how absolutely huge he is. I hope they have him here in a box for sale because I will more than likely buy him today. Look how cool he is. He just towers over us. He's so awesome. I'm so glad I finally got to see him actually blown up because all the times I've seen him in the store for sale, I didn't know if I wanted to buy him or not, but seeing him blown up, I know I wanna buy him. All right, let's move on here, guys. Well, there is a box there. Nah, I don't wanna buy one that's been sitting on a floor blown up. We have a creepy crimson girl on a swing over here. Do we have anybody over here? No, we just have a stack of spooky boxes with a sinister spirit doll. We don't have the Tombstone of Terror there either, but let's go on inside and see if there's anybody set up inside. Is there? Oh, there is. Look at this, guys. Evelyn Leach. Let's see if she's actually set up. Oh, yeah, baby girl. Look at that guy's head. Yeah, I think we're gonna put her in the thumbnail. <laughs> I do like to see that we still have the bubbles of death tubes going on. It is funny though to see how they're like, they're starting to get murky over time. I know, I hear you. And we still have this guy going up here. There he is. All right, let's come on out here and see what else we can see in the store. Wow, it is super quiet in here. I didn't even realize yet because I was so interested in those inflatables. And speaking of inflatables, here's the ghost face inflatable. Oh my gosh, guys, let's move on back here because they have more inflatables set up. Yes, how cool. I am so glad they have this guy set up in here because I also just bought him. <laughs> If you've been watching, you already know that, but he is totally awesome. He's absolutely huge. I do see that his killer scythe is bent over. I don't know why that is, but let's take a look down here because we have a nozzles for sale right here. What's this over here? Oh, we got a Fright in the Box inflatable right here. We actually have nozzles here. Let's see if we can get them going. Hello, Nazi. Boy, he is super quiet. Nazi, why are you being so quiet? Okay, I can't even hear you, buddy. But I can hear this. What are those? All right, let's come back over here because we have a young Crouchy here. I'm actually surprised to see him still in stock. We have another 
young Crouchy, over here. And let's take a peek in the scary electrical tunnel of death. Actually, let's go over to the other side because I think we're actually supposed to be going in on this side here. Danger, experiments in progress. Let's go ahead through. It's all quiet on the forefront in here until we step in and I hear it. It's electrifying. <laughs> the floor is not buzzing though, but these are electri- well, they were electrifying. And these are working, so that's cool. I know, I hear you. Okay, fine. Ah! Okay, let's come on out here, guys. Let's see if we can find any zombie babies or secret keeping cats or anything awesome like that. We do have some creepy dolls. We have a pumpkin nester. We have another pumpkin nester. We have two hugs down here, a decrepit Donna and a Rosalie. Are they well, three Rosalies, actually? We have these hanging ghouls, including this one that I don't know if I've ever seen. What the heck is this? The hanging loveless Lorena bride. What in the world? That must be an older one. I'll have to ask Joe Bean videos about that one. He would know. We do have a whole bunch of inflatables here, including the one that I just said I wanted to buy. The 8-foot inflatable light-up skeleton. He's $49.99. I have a 20% off coupon. I think that guy's going home with me today. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. I cannot believe that I see one that I have not seen in other stores. Eight foot inflatable light up Frankenstein. How cool is that? This is the first guys, I have never seen this inflatable before. Not only that, but they actually have two of them. What the heck? And they have the Wolfman. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how much I really want the Wolfman. To be honest with you, he kind of looks pretty boring, but seeing Frankenstein, and he is totally awesome, that makes me want both of them. Man, now I have to make a decision, guys. Do I buy Frankenstein or do I buy the skeleton? Man, that is a tough one. I don't know, I'm absolutely loving this Frankenstein. Let's go look around a little bit more and then we'll come back and we'll make the decision in a bit. Hello, Octobones. Oh, and here they are. I am so glad to see these guys in this store because they have not been in the past couple of stores. We have the Creeping Cat, two of them, and the Secret Keeping Cats. I don't suppose you'd tell me which inflatable I should buy. Oh yeah, this store is coming through for us, guys, because they also have the Hello Rat. All right, wait a minute. Before we go any farther, we're gonna come right over here because I see a bucket that needs some stickers. Hmm, I don't see any baby zombies at the moment, but I do see this one-eyed baby head on a stick. Oh man, I am liking this store. Look at this, guys. We also have the Universal Monsters Mummy. Let's puff out his head a little bit, maybe not. He looks totally awesome, and I just dropped a different mask. Sorry, Mr. Mask, I'll hang you back up, but no, I'm not gonna give you a kiss. Anyways, we have the mummy, and we have Frankenstein. These are totally awesome, but honestly, man, 70 bucks a piece for these is a little steep. The only one I do not see is the creature from the Black Lagoon. Apparently, they don't have that one here. You know, I do like this bone skull mask, though. It reminds me of the skull mask from Halloween Part 3. All right, let's come back over here and take a little look around. Maybe there's some zombie babies over here somewhere. You never know. Each store sets up their stores in a different way. And sometimes you even find them, like, sitting around on the floor, like, hiding around corners and stuff. That's always fun. We do have Annabelle's and Sitting Sam dolls. We have the Sam Groundbreaker, the Trick or Treat Light Up Wagon. We got the Ghost Face Bobblehead, the Gremlins Bobblehead, the Pennywise Sidestepper, and look at this, guys. We have the Pennywise Door Knocker. Don't you play with the clown anymore. Play a game with me, would you? <laughs> that is so creepy. It's always so much spookier in these stores when it's so quiet. Wait a minute. We got a clearance section over here. Let's see what's going on over here. What the heck? All right, so obviously we have some of these masks. $9.97 for those. I've seen those on clearance in a lot of stores. Let's see. Uh, okay. What is this? Tina's headpiece 
from Borderlands. Okay, we got the Winnie statues down here. That's kind of not surprising because, well, I don't know. It's just not surprising to me that those haven't sold well. Some pillows, um, Beetlejuice doormats, trick-or-treat signs. Yeah, nothing wonderful. All right, guys, we are back to the inflatables, and I have to make a decision. Which one shall I get? Shall I get the 8-foot inflatable light-up skeleton, as we've seen in two stores now set up, and I know I absolutely love it, or shall I get the 8-foot inflatable light-up Frankenstein, which I have not even seen in any other stores for sale? Oh, my gosh. What a difficult decision. I have to make that decision right now, but you guys are going to have to come over to my other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween, and subscribe and wait for the video to find out which one I bought.